Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Sister here. Brings a cool little Photoshop tutorial. Brings a cool little scenery, background, cool like unique style right here I have going on right now. You can see the example I have here. I took any random skyline. Uh, this really works with, mo I think it works best with like skyline, kind of like cool little city pictures. It's just something that has a lot going on. So even landscapes can work too. Just something that you can get some really cool outlines and such from it. Then you can get something like this. Uh, I don't know, I kind of, I remember having some kind of like, like something like this when I was really young. Um, like a cool little, I don't know, it was like black and white or black and gold or something like that in my living room. Anyway, it looks pretty gosh darn cool, so I want to show you guys how to do it. So basically, I got to do is start off with a picture and, uh, maybe a logo to put nice and dead smack in the middle here. Uh, simply, I didn't put any, like, really crazy, unique, uh, like, text, but it was just like a basic, like a nice white box with a drop shadow, which makes it look pretty cool as well. I'm gonna give you that kind of like artsy feel, and I really do like how that looks. And overall, it looks really good in multiple colors here. It has like a cool little uh, lime greenish yellow or whatever uh, with blue. And it's a nice little simple bar on the top. And whatever, this is, this can also be your base or whatever to something like really, really cool. I just really like how this came out. And I want to show you guys how to do it. I know you guys love banner tutorials and I love doing them as well. So let's get going, guys. Two likes on this video equals a secret down below. The first thing I'm going to need is a picture. I'm going to just drag, drag this one in again. And pretty much what I did was, like, I just typed in a uh, sky, city skyline or something like that, and I just got some really cool pictures and such. Um, if you guys have any other cool pictures, you can use your own pictures. That'd be pretty gosh darn cool as well if they have nice high quality pictures. Um, but pretty much all you really need is just something you can take and, like, just outline. I'll show you guys in a little bit how, what I mean by that, but, you know, you should be okay to go. So, pretty much, the way I did start off this background is, uh, I do have my logo here as well. Cool. All right. So this really, what the heck was I just gonna say? Basically, the way I started off this thing was I had a simple, uh, simple like really. I think this is pure black. I think this is a pure black. Let me just check. It is pure black. The background of this on this layer is pure black. And when I have the gradient on, I just have a simple. Uh, this is the hex code for it. For the first one, I have it on two one two one two one. It's a nice simple like mid gray or whatever you want to call it. And then pretty much here, I don't have like completely black, but it's just like a very nice, you know, it's just black basically with the hex code being 0C, 0C, 0C. And then pretty much I have it on radial and the scale is 150. That's how I start off like most of my banners now. I just have a simple update to my template. It's just no longer uh, like a solid color. I'm trying to use gradients. I really do like how they come out. So pretty much when you have this here, uh, you can pretty much now just start off with using your picture now. So Google whatever you want a picture or if you have any cool pictures of yourself or, you know, pictures that you've took yourself, that would pretty gosh darn uh, awesome as well. So I don't have a, a city skyline here. I'm not even sure what city this is. I'm sorry. I just don't know. <laughs> really. Um, I really want, I want to try this with mountains probably like just off time or whatever. I just want to see what it looks like with landscape as well. But pretty much I just have this here. It has a nice, very like, you know, you can see a lot going on. That's where I think this like really like this kind of style will like really pull through is because when you do select it, it will show you guys a lot of detail. So that's what I really want. I want to have a lot of detail in what I select in the picture. So this will definitely work for this. So pretty much I'm going to take my picture. I'm going to change it from normal to luminous C and it's going to lower my passing down to about 35. And we'll be ready to go. So, I'm actually going to drag my logo in as well. Let's drag this in. Alrighty. Uh, da -da -da -da. Make that smaller. If you guys do want my template, I probably will put in the, uh, in the description down below. Just so you have a nice cool template with the rules that I have here as well. I've probably given this thing away like 500 times in my videos with like other banner tutorials. But just because, uh, it's control H to unhide and hide the rules here. And they're perfectly nice and even or whatever. Besides this one, I don't know <laughs> why I did that. Uh, there we go. All right, cool. Let's just go ahead and just change this to like a nice offset white, and we'll leave that for later on. All right, cool. So pretty much, I'm gonna start this off the same exact way as I did on the example here. So pretty much, I just have a nice, cool little, simple like blue bar on the top. The hardest part, I think, is finding a nice color scheme that goes together. But obviously, complementary colors will help you guys through that, like you know your reds and oranges and stuff like that. So if you just keep that going, you shouldn't have too much with like the color scheme. I think no matter what, you should probably try to at least do multiple colors or uh, double colors, maybe even three colors if you guys can do it. Um, let's just see what happens here. So. Pretty much, I'm going to make a new layer. Actually, before all this, well, no, we'll make a new layer first. And we're just going to take the M tool, which is the rectangle marquee tool. I am going to put that little simple bar on the top just because I like how that looked. I don't know. Let's just go for it. Right? Nice little bar. And this can also be used as a space that are, are set for our color, right? We want, we now have this blue. Um, for any color you do choose, I would just tell you to just make sure it's like a nice darker scheme uh, of the color, not super vibrant, just because when you do deselect this and whatever, you finish coloring this in. Uh, you want to put this immediate on color dodge. This is a very cool like way of pulling out nice color or trying to put color in your banner or whatever without like messing too much around. Like it just pulls um that color and just like pulls the picture out maybe of the color. I don't know. You can see what it does here. It looks pretty cool. I'll just like I'll just give a nice little scan so you can see what I mean. 
um, you can see it just pulls it out. It looks really, really nice to be honest. Um, so that's why I, that's what I like kind of like got the style from. I just put on, I just put something on color dodge and it looked pretty gosh darn awesome. So I wanted to use it. So pretty much the whole entire thing after this is pretty, very, it's like very self-explanatory. So pretty much what we're gonna do is we're also, we're actually gonna put a simple CC on this, like a simple brightness and contrast. Uh, this will do. That'll do actually perfect. And right above this uh, brightness and contrast, really quickly, I'm gonna put a very simple white brush stroke on the top. So simple, a nice little white brush. I'm just gonna make it a little more bigger with Control Alt and right click, and you can left and right. Uh, you can move your mouth left and right for the diameter to change and up and down for the hardness to change. Just a nice little quick shortcut if you guys don't know that already. And I'm just gonna click one nice time on the top. There we go. Just to kind of like flatten out the image a bit. I'll lower the opacity down. And all right, cool. So pretty much now what we're gonna do is just do the whole entire like little uh, picking out like whatever we want to have selected. So all you have to do, it's very easy. All you gotta use is press W on your keyboard, which will bring you to the uh, magic wand tool. If, it, it's, if it's on this quick selection tool, make sure you just click and hold and go to the magic wand tool. This will allow you to basically select whatever you have selected on the layer. If you select somewhere around the canvas, you'll be able to see that you're gonna select parts of like this uh, area here. So pretty much you can just see what I'm selecting. I'm just selecting randomly like, oh, wait, wait. That looks pretty cool. I want to, I want, yeah, right now for the first one, um, it's going to be like a nice trial and error or whatever. You're going to find yourself clicking a lot to see if you want to, like, what you can click, and to be honest. Um, so I'm going to be able to do, is, did I move that? I don't know if I moved that image. All right, never mind. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. All right, so you're going to find yourself clicking a lot just to be, be able, like, find, like, the most, like, part where it's selecting the most entire thing where you can see all this cool detail in just one selection. That's what you want to go for right now. Like, this is probably, like, that. This is what I want right here. So, something like where I'm trying to find something else. Like, something where I'm clicking. Alright, like, something like this wouldn't be too good because I want something that clicks or selects the entire thing. Um, mess around with your tolerance. Uh, the lower it is, the more that gets selected. Um, but for right now, 32 is, like, fine for me right now. So, the, the, I didn't have any trouble finding the most selection. So, 32 is really fine for me. So, Right now, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new layer, and I already have the color, right? I have this default color that I want to use, right? There it is. All right, cool. So pretty much, if I press M on my keyboard, which brings me to the rectangle marquee tool, or uh, what you just need is this uh, tool selected. That way, it gives you the option when you right click to basically put a stroke on. So pretty much, you put a nice little stroke on. Your width can just be stay at one. Uh, your color will be the color that you have in your uh, your foreground color right here. So pretty much, you can press OK, just like so. I just right click deselect just to show you. You immediately get this very cool like outline of like a simple uh, you know one thickness stroke it doesn't like completely like ruin the picture or whatever but once I put this on color dodge you can see it looks very very just like, I don't know just looks really really good now what I can do is I can just uh, control J uh, to make it a little more vibrant if I want to just make a duplicate of it and I just want to lower the opacity down if I want to just to make that color pop out a little bit more if you guys choose to whatever I think that does look really nice like that um yeah, I think that looks pretty good, just like so. And what I can do over this like one light here, I'm gonna put a color or not a curve on it, just to see what else I can get out of it. Try to pull out that blue a little bit. So nice little simple S here. And I think I I think I didn't nail that blue. I think I pulled it out nice. All right, cool. Yeah, cool. All right, so pretty much now what I'm gonna do is just basically do the same exact thing again. So I'm just gonna group this together. Control G to group it to uh, group things together, and just press W again. I'm gonna find out where I can select. At least like what I had before, I think. What I had like that last time I was like I had just a little bit less than what I have. So if I want to put my tolerance up at this moment, uh, otherwise I know I can select this right here. Uh, if you can't find like a nice like minimal selection, if you keep selecting a lot, just up your tolerance. It'll help you guys out. And uh, pretty much I just want that. There we go. Cool. I'm gonna make a new layer, and this is less selected, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just gonna change my this color. Uh, we'll change this to like a nice green. We will press M on our keyboard for the rectangle marquee tool that will allow us to right click, uh, click on stroke now. And I can just keep that on one, right click, deselect. And now we have this size green with this complementary blue, which looks really, really nice. And I'm going to put this as well on color dodge and immediately get this very, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what it is about it. I love the way it looks. I'm just not even, I'm not even quite sure why. <sighs> I just like it a lot. All right, so cool. Like at this moment, you can either like take off the picture and like fiddle along with like selecting with more things maybe. Uh, I don't know. I, I like how this looks, though. I will not lie. I, maybe let's we'll see what other color we can choose here. I like the green, though. Of course, let's just see what other colors we can see if we can we can get looking nice. I do really, really like that green, though. That red looks pretty sweet as well. The yellow doesn't look too bad. All right, look at these two like really close to like what is this? Like a more of a 
turquoise or whatever. I don't know, maybe like that kind of green and bluish color tone. I don't know, it looks pretty nice. Now what you can do here is you can either keep, um, just only have like the uh, the background like with like the cool little outline selected, or you can also put your picture on. I wouldn't really tell you to like keep it on, so I'll probably put this on like maybe 20% or so. You can still see it a bit. Actually, I'll keep it on 30. You can still see it a bit. What I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna ratchet this layer really quickly though, so I can actually erase things on this. I'm just gonna erase where parts like I really don't want you know, the city to be shown so much. I just want, like, at least to see what I did there. Uh, here we go. I'm not too sure as well if I want, like, that blue to show in, like, this little bottom part here. I can erase that if I want to. Uh, I can erase certain areas as well if I wanted to. Take the green and do the same exact thing. Uh, color dodge. Just erase a few spots. We'll go back to the picture, erase a few spots again as well. That looks pretty good to be honest. All right, cool, sweet. Now, for any like little color like highlights you want to do, so I'm gonna just take this green. I'll just click once over here. I can take the blue and click it once over here. And maybe just flicker, maybe put it on like screen or something, which looks pretty nice. I can just lower the opacity down. I think that does work. I will believe. All right, that looks okay. Doesn't look too bad or whatever. I'm not too sure if I want that to keep like that, like that way. Let's see what it looks like with a white background. All right, that's not too bad at all, actually. It looks pretty nice. So pretty much what I'm going to do here, just the final thing is off. I'm just going to make sure that uh, I'll move this over. There we go. Now, if I wanted multiple colors, let's just see what I can do here. If I want to use hue and saturation, I can just click on hue and saturation, right? I can find like a cool color scheme. We'll say I like this. I'm going to erase this hue and saturation. When I click on this white thumbnail here, and I can get multiple colors, which looks pretty cool. I will not keep the, I want to keep the bar blue though, no matter what. So we'll keep that blue. I'm just going to erase around these yellow tones. And I'll probably do it one more time. Why not, right? We'll do hue and saturation again. Let's see what other color we can get. Oh, that looks pretty cool to be honest as well. We'll click on that thumbnail here. We'll click the eraser. And we'll make sure that this stays blue. And we'll go ahead and click the eraser and just start erasing other areas. I don't know, to, I don't know it looks like a, like a chroma background, right? Like, I don't know, it's really cool, like odd, just very cool color scheme or whatever, just a whole bunch of different colors. Um, Pretty much though, to set this off, I'm just gonna make sure I finish my little like little logo here. I'm just gonna put a simple inner, sh uh, inner glow here with a white. I'm gonna make the size a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a simple drop shadow on with 90% angle or 90 angle. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just leave that like so. And like I said, for the text and such, what I did, <laughs> the more I look at these multiple colors, it's like, like, it's like a rainbow threw up on it. I'm just going to go back to the like, regular color scheme here. But pretty much just like set this off. If you wouldn't put like, any text on the banner, I would recommend just either, you know, do whatever you want. But I would recommend to do a simple little white box, right? I did the same as I think for the example. Uh, just simple, like some little white box. Just, uh, do it like that. And we'll go ahead and fill that in. And with a black text, and I think it looks pretty gosh darn cool this way. And I'll, of course, make the text black. Do, 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 do. We'll change this to zero. And by the way, whoever asks me what the font is, it's Kenan or Kenyan Coffee. I've been using that a lot in my thumbnails, and that's all you guys have been asking recently in my comment section. That's what it is, okay? Not that hard to figure it out. Just look at the, the, the font right here. Um, Drop shadow here. I can just leave it on the, that cool little angle we have there, and just pretty much leave the drop shadow maybe a little more darker, to be honest, the, the, the opacity, maybe about 90% or so. And pretty much just press OK, and I don't know, it looks really good. It works. It's very simplistic. It's very simple to do, and it just it just works. I don't know. I like how this looks a lot, to be honest. And of course, I hope you guys do as well. So, and whatever you guys come up with, please don't forget to tweet it at me. I will. I love seeing you guys work. I love seeing you guys. You know, like I saw like recently, a lot of speed arts came out where it was like inspired by Sesso. I'm like, this is freaking awesome. So I really do appreciate that. I really, really, truly do. And I had one of the best weeks uh, last week. It's just overall the the amount of support that I had. It was so like overwhelming. I don't, I was like literally like like talking. I was telling my friends. I was like, bro, like what the hell is going on? Like this entire like it's honestly. I'm not even kidding. I I really sincerely. I really do appreciate it. 
Um, I really can't. Uh, we hit 45k by the way about two days ago. I'm not sure if I announced it on my video yet, but we did hit 45k. We're really close to 50k. We're getting there like 5k away. They'll only be halfway to 100k, and then we get like 100k plaque. I don't know. That, that's like dream or whatever. I don't. Know. We'll see what happens. I hope it happens. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video today. Uh, don't forget to like on the video equals the down below. Please check out my Selfie, selfie.com slash SWHQ for any premates and packs. There's always five dollars. Um, most popular ones being the uh, stock brush pack. Um, as well as the pattern uh, pack, which has been doing insanely well as well. Like anyone buys the brush pack, literally bought the pattern pack, and they both love it. I'm not even kidding. They do like it a lot. And of course, if you guys want to purchase everything in my store, and everything that comes out will get emailed for you for free if you purchase the everything uh, for life pack. It's one purchase of thirty dollars. So please go check it out in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I told you guys, uh, what is uh, what is it, Monday, right? Yeah. So Monday, I told you guys then. Hope you guys enjoy your Friday. Let's switch you out. Peace.